And now that we know how to melt down aluminum, let's find some practical use for it. Maybe you could make a toy, uh, maybe a slingshot. Uh, this one I'm going to try to replicate a hammer. It will not be perfectly exact, but with a $15 foam cutter from Harbor Freight and a little bit of scrap foam that I have, I think that it's worth a try. If it doesn't turn out how I like it, I can always stick it back in the pot and remelt it. Here it is, the cutout of the hammer. Uh, if you want to find better videos on how to cut styrofoam, there are some awesome videos on using nichrome wire for cutting styrofoam that will make it come out looking a lot better than what I've got. But for this purpose, for this video, this will suffice. We are simply trying to show how you can actually use the aluminum that you melt down rather than just melting it for fun. You can have a little additional fun with it. Okay, now that we have our mold cut out of the item that we want to form, in this case our hammer, we'll put a little bit of sand, probably an inch or two inches of sand in the bottom of a bucket and we will slowly pour in sand. This is number 30 builder sand. It's not a really fine sand, but it'll do for our project. If you want to get a really smooth finish, a smoother finish and less sanding on your tool or the item that you are pouring, use what they call a green sand. You get it at different hobby stores and it packs in tighter and it's better, but if you're just concerned about making something quick like we are, then this thir number 30 sand will do just fine. So we'll go ahead and fill it up and continue. So here we have it covered up to the top. I put a steel can around to kind of help hold the aluminum and allow it to go down into our mold. And as soon as that molten aluminum hits that styrofoam, it will instantly melt it and take the shape of our styrofoam and then we'll let it cool and we'll see what happens. Now we've got our aluminum melted. We are going to do our pour. We'll pour this mold and just get it right. Woo! Uh oh, there it goes. Yep. And that should have been enough to fill up the mold. And the extra that spilled off the side we can reuse. And let's see, we'll show pouring a few ingots with the leftover. And that cools really fast. You can see how fast that cools, especially when it's not very thick. So, now what we do is we will wait for all of these to cool, and then we'll dig this out and see how our mold goes. Okay, so this is our, the result from pouring the hammer in the foam. And it came out black and it's still dirty, but underneath, it's solid aluminum and so we can take a grinder to it and clean it up and shape it a little bit better and it just shows that we can make something with the old aluminum that's laying around our houses.